Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I wanted to make a quick little video and uh, point something out. And I don't really know honestly how to go about it because I don't want to use a whole lot of ugly words. Uh, I'm trying to refrain from doing that these days. Uh, when, <laughs> when, when a fella gets the news that I got a week or so back, it kind of makes you rethink how you live your life. But uh, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be better. But nevertheless, I'm still quite upset at the moment. This radio, I've been just been tinkering with it, uh, keep from going stir crazy, and. Um, the modulation adjustment inside the uh, the VR had no effect on the modulation output, which automatically told me that somebody had disabled the limiter circuit. So naturally, I went to the um, I went to the uh, resi uh, yeah, resistor in this radio. This radio has a, a resistor for the for the limiter instead of a diode. Went to the resistor and checked it, and um, it was intact. Uh, it was good. So to be on the safe side, I thought, well, I'll just replace it and be, you know, be 100% sure. So I replaced it. And in doing so, I had to desolder the old one, of course, to get it out and put the new one back through the holes and solder it back in. And that's when I discovered this this genius genius way of disabling the limiter circuit in, in radios. Um, I believe this is the first one I've ever seen. And I know, let's see here. Maybe. Now I'm doing this I'm I'm doing this by hand, so um Right here and right here is where the resistor solders in at. This is one leg of it, this is the other leg of it. Well, as I was desoldering to put the new one in, I just happened to notice right here. Some dingling cut a big chunk out of the trace going from this lead on, you know, to the rest of the radio, the rest of the circuit. So, <clears throat> for those who those who choose to disable limiters, um, you know, the easy way is just take a pair of side cutters and reach in there and go snip and cut it. But no, not this one. That was too easy, I suppose. They turned the radio over and took an exacto knife or something cold chisel or something. I don't know what they use but they cut a big chunk out of the circuit cut a big big gouge down in the board and uh, disabled it that way um, personally I don't disable limiters in fact if a radio comes in <clears throat> and the limiter is missing or cut or disabled in some way I replace it I put it back. Radios leave my shop with limiters intact and functioning. Uh, so that brings us to this one. I'm about to repair this. So this is going to take a good bit more time because somebody thought it would be a good idea to cut a big chunk, big gouge, out of the circuit board rather than just go snip and cut the limiter on the other side. But anyway, for those of you who do disable limiters, please don't do it this way. Please, please don't. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Red Eagle, we out of here.